Los Records. Now, let's talk for just a second about the importance of this film. Dragon does not just appeal to martial arts fans. According to, and I'm sitting here with the St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg Times, and I have the review for Dragon written by Mr. Steve Persall, who is the film critic out there. And I'd like to share with you a very, very quick excerpt from that review. Dragon, the story of Bruce Lee, is one of those rare films. A biography as entertaining as it is informative. Not since My Left Foot has a life story been filmed with such accessible compassion and flair. Dragon is terrific. Part love story, part chop sake success story, and completely entertaining. When we come back, a behind the scenes USA Karate exclusive look at Dragon, the story of Bruce Lee. Stay tuned. Well, what do you think? I don't know what to think. This is the first Bruce Lee Kung Fu Institute. You talked me into it. <sighs> you make me feel like I can do anything. St. Petersburg. Beautiful beaches. Nice people. A wonderful city to raise a family. Yes, St. Petersburg is a paradise of safe living. Or is it? Crimes of violent assault, rape, and the abduction of children are increasing every day. Over 600 USA Karate students are making sure this doesn't happen to them. If you're going to exercise, doesn't USA Karate make more sense? In Northeast or the Tyrone area, call now. 341-1000 for USA Karate. USA Karate, fitness with a purpose. John Graydon, sixth degree, black belt, five-time world champion, United States Karate team member, 1990 Hall of Fame Instructor of the Year, to be your best, you have to learn from the very best. Excellent. Uh, I've been really, really pleased. How sincere the instructors are. They really care about you, and they want you to be the best that you can possibly be. The USA Karate Black Belt Success System. Call now for our $20 trial program and receive a free USA Karate uniform. Welcome back to this very special edition of USA Karate. Now we move into our second film, Dragon, the Bruce Lee Story. A very compelling, powerful movie that, if you'll excuse the pun, packs a lot more punch than the wonderful Sidekicks film. You could say that Bruce Lee and I go way back. Of course, he had no idea, but we do. When I was six years old, I used to sit with my dad and watch The Green Hornet. And I had no idea who Cato was, but Cato was being played by, the, uh, by Bruce Lee. It's about 1967, and I was amazed, not just at the karate technique, the kung fu technique that Bruce Lee displayed, but by his presence, his art, and the respect that his martial arts skill commanded. Of course, he moved on to make fantastic films. Return of the Dragon and Enter the Dragon, specifically Into the Dragon, is one of the all-time top-grossing action films in the world to this day. Martial arts fans out there, and even those of you that are just casually fans, should definitely look into Enter the Dragon. No single person has had a stronger impact on the martial arts worldwide than the incomparable Bruce Lee. Please enjoy this behind the scenes USA Karate exclusive look at the making of Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. No one really came close to what he was uh, saying or what he was preaching or what he was developing. There was something incredibly charismatic and vibrant about him. He can be scary. And then very tender and very sincere. I think that's why so many people, male and female alike, are so enamored by who he was. Universal Pictures and director Rob Cohen bring the saga of martial arts legend Bruce Lee to the big screen in Dragon, The Life of Bruce Lee. I'm trying very hard to be true to the family and to make sure that it's a testament to the man and also to be true to the fans who know the story. Based on the biography by his wife, Linda, Dragon follows Bruce from his delinquent youth in Hong Kong to a fresh start in the United States, tracking his rise to fame through the action, romance, and mystery that were a part of his remarkable life. I'm really so 
pleased that, that someone is finally doing a picture about Bruce and about his life more than just as a martial artist, but how he lived and how he loved and our family life. He could be the most sensitive and tender person, and I think this comes across in his films, but even more so in his life. Actor Jason Scott Lee was chosen for the pivotal role of Bruce Lee. Hi, Mom. Though physically right for the part, Jason had had no training in the martial arts. I felt if you take a martial artist and teach him to act, it won't work. But you could teach an actor the martial arts, and with a little bit of luck, you might get someone who could pull it off. What we got was a lot of luck. As a child, I was a fan of Bruce and had like uh, uh, really enjoyed um, his work and his choreography and his charisma. Getting involved in Bruce's philosophies and Bruce's beliefs helped scare away all the fears that come into actually portraying a legend. Jerry Poteet, who studied with Bruce Lee, was brought in to coach Jason in the gritty style of the master. Bruce was a fighter, I mean, street fighter. He'd get out and he'd get into it, see? So he had that, he wanted that on the screen to be able to say that his fights look real. Bruce strived not only to excel in the martial arts himself, but to share his philosophies with the Western world. There you go, you see. It isn't the size of strength that matters. It's focus. Lauren Holly plays Linda Emery, the woman who would become Bruce's wife, despite her mother's objections. So let's get down to the real issue. Children. They won't be white, and they won't be Oriental. They'll be American. Linda's American. I'm American. You're an American citizen. You're not really an American. One of the biggest problems in Bruce's life was that he had a really hard time being accepted here in America. Being a Chinese man was very difficult. Bruce! Bruce not only had a big problem being accepted from the Americans, but he also had a problem from his Hong Kong countrymen that were living in America. We do things differently here. One of the things we do not do is teach our secrets to whites, blacks, they are the enemy. They are not the enemy. They just don't know us. We've been so close for so long, they've never seen the real beauty of our culture. Let's show it to them. I think he was unique because he stood in the middle of two fantastically powerful cultures, the Chinese culture and the American culture, so that he was able to single-handedly pull the two cultures together to make both sides understand each other better. For Lee, however, his accomplishments were often overshadowed by a dark force which plagued his life. Three months before Bruce actually passed away, he collapsed at the studio. And he told me later that something was trying to drag him down and away from life. said it was like fighting a demon and we all have demons so one of the first obligations of understanding a character is to understand his dark side and what drives him bruce was a driven man i mean incredibly driven There's something extra special about Bruce that's more than just his personality. There's a charisma that comes across on the screen. I'm Bruce Lee. I love the story. It's a great story. This place is eating us up. Can't you see that, Bruce? I want to stop breaking my wife's heart. It's never going to be over between you and me. You get it? 